Greetings, greetings viewers and subscribers. In today's journey, we are going to be starting from Bloody Bay and we are heading downtown the Beach Road in Negril, in the parish of Westmoreland. Well, for those who didn't know, Bloody Bay is in the parish of Hanover. So we are driving from Hanover to Westmoreland. We are going to be driving down Norman Manley Boulevard, popularly known as the Beach Road. To our right is the seven miles of White Sand Beach of Negril. On this stretch of road is where you find most of the major hotels, if not all of the major hotels in Negril. We are going to be passing the real hotels. There are two real hotels in Negril. We are going to be passing both of them. We are going to be passing couples, Royal Tan. Hedonism 2, Sandals Negril, we are going to be passing beaches and all the major hotels in Negril. So, sit back, relax and drive with me. Now, today, we are going to be doing more videos. We have gotten some information overnight and we are awaiting the details. So, we are going to give you a few updates in this video and later on today, we are going to be bringing you some more stories. Also, yesterday, we didn't carry the birthday greetings. So we are compiling all the names to carry the birthday greetings video later on today. So stand by for that. We also have an intriguing update. Remember, we told you about a lady, 77 years old. She died. Well, somebody took her out. We are going to bring you an update in that story. Because... Somebody has been charged. And like you see on the thumbnail, yes, the grandson, he has been charged. We are going to tell you what the grandson is telling the police as to the reason why he killed his grandmother. Stand by for that. But first, a man who was mistaken for the abductor in St. Thomas, he was killed by residents of the area. This man, he was killed yesterday morning. Wednesday, October 20, 2021, about 8 o'clock. Our information is that a man, his name is Mr. Levi Chambers. Mr. Chambers, he lived at South Haven in Yalas, in the parish of St. Thomas. We are understanding that he used to work at a car dealership in St. Andrew. For the past few months, it is said that Mr. Chambers, he became sick. He was diagnosed with a mental illness. We are not sure if at the time he died, he was still working at the car dealership. But yesterday morning, he got up and he said he was going to work. He ended up at Landui in St. Thomas. Nobody in the area knew him. As a result, an alarm was raised. Some residents confronted Mr. Chambers. Now, we are not sure whether or not they ask him any questions or what his answer might have been because like we said he has developed a mental illness but the end result was the residents they use knives they use machete they use sticks and inflicted all kind of blows and wounds and this man the police were called in and he was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced D-E-A-D. St. Thomas people, you must be careful. You must be careful. We know no blood hot, no blood a boil, but tone it down. How have you slept last night knowing that you took out the wrong man? Please, let cool heads abide. Calm down. Calm down. Now, listen to this story. The Westmoreland police, they are searching for a man. This man, his name is Steve Titer. He's almost 30 years old. And he lives at Delveland in the Little London police area in the parish of Westmoreland. Now, Steve, his baby mother lives at a district in Grangel in the parish of Westmoreland. The allegations are that 
Tuesday the 19th of October 2021, sometime after 7 p.m. Steve drove his Honda motor car to visit his baby mother at Grangel. He stopped at the gate and he called her out. They were outside there talking when the allegations are that Steve, he brandished a gun and fired two shots at this lady. She ran inside of the house and Steve chased her. She ran through the back door of the house. But when Steve was inside of the house, two people were inside of the house. A man and a woman, brothers and sisters. The allegations are that Steve, he pointed a gun at these two people and told them that are his baby in comfort. In other words, he's there to pick up his baby. They handed over the baby to him. Whilst he was leaving, the allegations are that he used the gun to gun butt the male and the female. He then went outside with the baby in his hand where he saw three other people, two males and one female. It is alleged that Steve again opened fire at these three people. He then went, jumped into his silver Honda motor car and drove away. As a result, a report was made. Now, when the police processed this crime scene, our information is that six 9mm spent shells were found on the scene. So Steve, you are wanted by the Green Chill Police. We are not sure what the issue is. But Steve, you went about this in the wrong way. If the allegations are true, you went about doing this the wrong way. If you wanted your child, there is a way to deal with that. Go into the house with a gun and open the fire at persons or pointing your gun at persons. You know what's going to happen next? If the allegations are proven to be true, you are going to jail. You are also going to prison. You cannot carry the baby go to prison with you. My advice to you, hand over yourself to the police. Now, if you are here and you are watching this video, if you have not yet hit on the like button, remember to hit on it. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, hit on the subscribe button as also hit on the notification bell, then click all so that whenever we upload a new video, you will be notified. Now, you would have seen, we are now over 40,000 subscribers. Yes, we are now over 40,000 subscribers. We want to say thanks to you for supporting the movement. Thank you for sharing our videos. Thank you for liking our videos. Thank you for telling a friend to tell a friend. Getting 40,000 subscribers on YouTube is or was not easy. But guess what? You, you know that you can depend on us for credible news. You know that you can depend on us for the news that you're not going to hear anywhere else. You know that we are going to give you the details. You know that we are going to be going above and beyond to bring the news to you. And you, the subscribers, you are the ones who keep us going. Because when we keep checking our phones and we see that the subscribers are going up, that tell us that people appreciate what we are doing. As a result, we try to go at it even more. We are going to make mistakes, you know, and we have made mistakes. But guess what? We don't come out here on a daily basis with any intention to mislead you. If we have made any mistake, we make sure we come back and we correct it and we apologize. We now go go on like say we're big and we can't wrong and everything what we say as so it go. We ensure that we cross our T's and with that our I's. But at the end of the day, when most of the incidents that we are reporting on are taking place, we are not there. So we depend on credible sources for our information. So our commitment is to always give you credible information. 
to inform you, to let you stay on the alert, to let you be aware of what is happening around you. Keep on supporting the movement. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. We have been at this for a little bit over here. And trust me, we didn't expect to have so many subscribers in such a short space of time. But we are grateful. We are thankful. Keep on supporting the movement. The best is yet to come. Now, in the final story for today, we brought you this story on Tuesday, October 18th. We told you about an incident at Allside in the Warsaw Police area in the parish of Trelawney. We told you that a man, a grandson, he visited the police station and he told the police that he left his grandmother in bed. On Sunday, October 17th, 2021, he left her about 3 p.m. This is what he told the police. He told them that when he returned to the house about some minutes to 12 midnight, he saw his grandmother with wounds to her head. As a result, he went to the station and made a report. We told you that when the police went to the scene, this lady, 77 years old, Violet Walcott, she was seen dressed in an adult pampas. She had a wound to her face, her wounds to her face, and she was covered with a sheet. This sheet that she was covered with had blood on it. We told you that although we were not pointing any fingers, the police should start from the grandson because our information at the time is that there were no forced entry to this house. We also told you that if the grandson is eliminated as a suspect, the police should move on to other family members. No, we didn't tell you that from Sunday night when this young man went and made the report, the police held him in custody because the police were suspicious. This young man, his name is Jermaine Powell. He was popularly known as Man. He was 26 years old and he lived at the same address at Allside in the parish of Trelawney. So, man was taken into custody. The Monday morning, Monday, October 18, 2021, the police took him out of the cell in front of two justices of the peace to question him about the incident. The police put some points to him and told them of some evidence that they had. Man, he confessed. Yes, he confessed. But here is what man is telling the police. Well, the information the police have is that man, he was tired of taking care of her. Remember we tell you, we gave you a hint the other day in the video. The first question we asked was, who is tired of this lady? It turns out that man, he's the one who is tired of her. Or the information we are getting that the police had was that he was tired of taking care of the lady. Now, here are some facts. Miss Walcott is 77 years old. She got a stroke over 10 years ago. And since then, man, her grandson, he has been the sole caregiver to this lady. He used to be there, change her diapers, you name it. He told the police that he was depressed and totally stressed out. He told the police that his grandmother has been suffering for all these years. He also told them that his grandmother has been pleading to him to end her life. Yes, he told the police that his grandmother, she was saying to him that she cannot bear the pain anymore, so he should end her life. So, Sunday evening or Sunday afternoon, October 17th, 2021, Man, he decided that for once and for all, he was going to end his grandmother's life. But he could not do it whilst he was sober. So, man told the police that he left and got drink some rum. After drinking this rum, he returned to the house. 
sometime after 8 or 9 p.m. He told the police that he picked up a piece of food, went into his grandmother's room, and used that piece of food to inflict blows to his grandmother's head. He told them that he stood over her for a while until she took her last breath. He then came out of the house and threw away the piece of wood. He told them that he sat outside for a while, thinking of what he's going to tell the police. Later in the night, he walked to the Warsaw police station where he made a report. So man, the grandson of Mrs. Walcott, he has been officially charged for the murder of his grandmother. He is now in custody and he will be going to the courts shortly. But guess what? We are getting some information and we are going to be updating this story. Because, Miss Walcott, our information is that she used to live in Kingston. We are going to tell you some things about her kids. We are going to go back into some history. We are doing some checks and balances. And we will be coming back to you with some more information. But, man, he has been charged. Stand by. We are going to be giving you at least two other videos today. A man was killed in Sheffield in the parish of Westmoreland last night. As also, a man was killed in Marchtown. In the Green Island Police Area in the parish of Hanover last night as well. We are getting the information and we are going to be bringing them to you. The mayhem continues. Blessed love everybody 